everybody, Mr. Gaff here, returning with another gun review for Planetside 2. Today I will be looking at the Battle Rifles. The Battle Rifles can be used by the Engineer and Heavy Assault classes. There are three Battle Rifles at the moment, the Eidolon for the Vanir Sovereignty, the Warden for the New Conglomerate, and the AMR-66 for the Terran Republic. I'm making one review for all three of them since they are extremely similar. If you want to skip to a certain part of the review, the time codes can be found in the description. The battle rifles are semi-automatic and cost 700 station cash or 1000 certs each. They may be hard to find in the store menu since a battle rifle checkbox is not listed at the moment but they can be easily found in the cert menu of the engineer and heavy assault classes. If you unlock the battle rifle in one cert menu for one class it will be available for the other class as well. The damage per shot varies some between the three rifles. All three rifles start off at 250 damage per shot at 10 meters or closer. The damage per shot varies some between the three rifles. All three rifles start off at 250 damage per shot at 10 meters or closer. But the Eidolon bottoms out at 167 damage per shot at 125 meters, while the AMR and the Warden bottom off earlier at 200 damage per shot at 85 meters. The reload time is the same for the three rifles. The short reload is 2.3 seconds and the long reload is 3.4 seconds. The magazine holds 20 shots and your soldier carries an extra 100 shots. The recoil is a manageable 1 degree per bullet. And since the gun is semi-automatic, first shot recoil is just 1 times, meaning it's non-existent, it's just multiplying by 1, like you can do that math. The firing speed for the Warden and the Eidolon is 331 rounds per minute, while the AMR has a firing speed of 333 rounds per minute. I don't know why the devs made it such a minimal change. Um, you can't see the difference. Some people say they can see the rate of fire difference. Um, I don't know how they would do that. <clears throat> Anyways, the bullet velocity of all three is 500 meters per second. For the long range rifles, I am replacing time to kill with projectile drop. Time to kill is too dependent on whether or not you get a headshot and won't be a useful comparison for bolt action and semi-auto weapons. Now I'm not a gun aficionado, but from what I understand, bullet drop is calculated based on how far a bullet will travel before it hits the ground. This will obviously depend on how high the gun is off the ground while it's being shot, so you won't be able to compare, say, a gun in this game to a gun in real life. The projectile drop for the Warden and the AMR is 11.25 meters. The Eidolon has no bullet drop, which is typical of all the Vanu weapons, other than the bolt-action rifles and the launchers. In combat, the battle rifle is an absolute beast. The accuracy allows you to get consistent headshots on an enemy who may only be poking their head out. It's an excellent gun to use as an engineer to balance the short-range carbines. I like to use it as a sniper in some situations by using a spawn beacon, placing it next to a high area and then drop potting on to an overhang or a tower or the top of a building and then just unleashing help from above. And the plus side with using it as an engineer is you continually can resupply your ammo and just keep on firing until they find you, which can take quite a long time. I've noticed that. I can continually kill one person and they still won't find me. There's no um, kill cam to show where I was firing from or anything like that. As a heavy assault, it proves less effective to snipe with the battle rifle unless you have a guided rocket launcher. The default dumb fire rocket launcher moves much too slow to be firing from range. So if you're going to snipe with the battle rifle, you want to get a locked on rocket launcher. There are two different attachment setups I would advise. The first, highlighted in blue, is the long range setup. The compensator and foregrip minimize recoil to close to nothing, allowing you to take quick shots on target with ease. I personally like the 3.4x VMS scope for my Eidolon, since it has a nice reticle and takes up a minimal amount of my sight. The second setup is highlighted in green since the battle rifles can drop people with 5 shots in close quarters and are more powerful than the pistols which would be the other semi-auto um, close range weapon. 
I would advise putting a night vision scope and laser dot and silencer on and you can take your battle rifle for some short range action. When I run with the battle rifle I don't use C4 and instead I use the health regen kit. When I'm sniping around it's not very easy for me to use my C4 since I don't really have any vehicles I need to blow up. It could work well with for maxes if you're running away but I find I'm usually up against snipers trying to take me out so getting behind cover and using the medic kit is much more useful. I also run it when I know I'm going to have to protect my Sunday while the rest of my squad caps a base since this allows me to continue to land shots at range to help the push but I can also stay back and defend the Sunday if any vehicles or um, rocket bearing ESFs come around and try to take out my Sunday. The only complaints I have for the battle rifles are that the low bullet velocity and the projectile drop on the Warden and the AMR make it very hard to kill at range. You'll often find yourself getting assists or not harming your, enough, your enemy enough to get into their health bar so they can just run into cover, find another medic to heal them. It's usually really hard and it's definitely a support class if you're trying to use it at range. You need some other um, members of your squad or your faction to be helping out close range combat and finishing them off. So I've also decided to read each of the guns once I've reviewed them. The scale goes from 1, which means like a garbage gun, you don't want to use it no matter what, you're better off with the default, to 10, which means pure death machine. The rating school scale is not meant to show you which is the best gun, since each one is situational, instead it's supposed to demonstrate the weapon's overall versatility and how it compares with other weapons within its class. The ratings might change over time as I look into all the guns, but I'm pretty sure the battle rifles will stay at a solid 7.5. If you mainly play Engineer or Heavy, save up the certs and spend some of that extra station cash. You won't regret it. So that's all for my review of the current three battle rifles. If you have any weapons you're interested in seeing reviewed next, do leave me a comment and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.